15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition, engines full power, and lift off of Transporter 7. Go Falcon, go Transporter. Vehicles pitching downrange. Stage 1 propulsion nominal. T plus 30 seconds into flight and Falcon 9 has cleared the tower at Space Launch Complex for east. We're currently throttling down the engines in preparation for max Q. Max Q is the maximum Nominal power and telemetry. Max Q is the maximum aerodynamic pressure the vehicle will see on ascent. That's the largest structural load yeah, on the vehicle. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Good callouts there, and we are coming up on max Q in just a few seconds from now. Thank you. Great news, we've passed through Max Q. Now with that, we do have a few events coming up here back to back. That will be Miko stage separation, stage one flip, SES one. And back chill has started. And the start of the boost back burn. Now Miko is main engine cutoff. That's where we will shut down all of those engines that you are seeing lit up on your screen. That will help slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation. Stage one will begin to make its journey back to Earth with stage one flip and the boost back burn. And the second stage will ignite the MVAC engine for the first time with SES one or second stage engine start one. And as a reminder, once we have stage separation, we should be able to see the shorter nozzle in there. You can actually see it on your screen. Again, we are flying a shorter nozzle for this mission. And you can see it there on your screen, and we are preparing for a few events coming up. Miko, stage separation, S1 flip, or stage one flip, SES1, and the boost back burn on the first stage. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Stage one boost back startup. And incredible views there. We've had Miko stage separation. The first stage vehicle has performed its flip maneuver and has started up its boost back burn. And on your right hand screen, what an incredible view. You could see the shorter MVAC nozzle there and that MVAC engine burning extremely bright on the screen. And we are coming up on fairing separation. Fairing separation confirmed. Perfect timing. You saw the fairing have separating from the second stage. As they make their way back down to Earth, we will attempt to recover them. And again, just incredible views on your screen. On the left-hand side, you can see the boost back burn for the first stage vehicle. Stage one boost back shut down. And great call out. That concludes the boost back burn of the first stage as you saw that engine shut down. And on your right hand screen, that MVAC engine is still burning bright. Now the next major milestone coming up will be the entry burn on the first stage, which is scheduled to occur around the T plus six minute mark. We're currently in our first of four MVAC burns, and this burn should last until about T plus eight minutes and 19 seconds. And as Jesse mentioned, the next milestone will be the first stage entry burn, which is coming up in about two minutes from now. For today's mission, unlike typical Falcon 9 missions, we'll be performing a single engine entry burn and a three engine landing burn on the first stage after stage separation. This is due to the change of the second stage engine performance with the shorter nozzle that you can see right there on your screen. 
So switching up the number of engines we let up, light up during these two milestones on the booster during descent will allow us to more efficiently land on LZ-4. We have performed similar types of burns previously, most commonly on Falcon Heavy side boosters. This will, however, be the first Falcon 9 first stage to perform these burns with this changed engine configuration to land, trajectory. to land back on land. You heard that good call out that they are on a nominal trajectory. But be sure to keep an eye out during both entry and landing burn to see if you can see the difference based on how many engines are lit up. We should be hearing the call out for entry burn on stage one in about 20 seconds from now, where engine nine will relight. Stage one entry burn startup. There's that call out. You can see that engine nine has relit for entry burn. Stage one entry burn shutdown. And we have had stage a, one FTS is saved. And we have had a successful entry burn. As I mentioned earlier, we will be attempting to recover this booster for the 10th time today and are targeting a land landing on LZ-4, which is not too far from the launch pad. The first stage has one more burn left, which is the landing burn. During landing burn, three of the Merlin engines will relight, engines 1, 5, and 9, to produce enough thrust. Stage 1, transonic to produce enough thrust to slow down Falcon right before touchdown. Stage one landing burn. Great call out there, that landing burn has begun. You can see it right there. Landing led deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And as you saw and probably heard, we had a successful first stage landing at landing zone four. Successful cutoff. Stage two FTS is saved. Today's landing marks this booster's 10th landing and our 185th overall landing of an orbital class rocket. Next up, we are expecting the shutdown of the second stage MVAC engine. MVAC shutdown. And there it is, right on time.